partner Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak, and now Kessler Edwards with us. Hello, Kessler. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Good to have you. You know, last season I felt like when this team was going through some of its roster turmoil, you were one of the real bright spots, one of the real nice surprises who emerged as a as a three and D thread. What was your focus this off season, getting ready to build on what you did in your rookie year? Yeah, just building on that. Uh, the main thing for me was just perfecting my three-point shot um, even more. That's one of my specialties. So uh, just being more consistent, uh, reliable on that, and then just more comfortable putting the ball on the floor as well. And then obviously uh, defense is something that I'm going to be focused on too this year. I, I'm sure for any rookie, there's a lot that you don't know or can't anticipate, can't expect, but it, it was a pretty wild season that, that you had. <laughs> you write a book about it someday. Uh, take us through that and just your experience of what, what it was like last year in, in trying to just figure out your place, acclimate yourself, and also with all the moving parts that occurred throughout the course of the year. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see how – uh, this coming year compared to last year because that was my first year so I didn't really know what was normal I don't know if so that's, you that's know, a baseline. <laughs> yeah, if it's always that dramatic so uh, we'll see but I think that uh, did a good job preparing me for the rest of my career and uh, just always staying ready last year through everything was really all I could do so what is it like Kessler when you're on the floor as a rookie with giants of the game like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. I mean, h how do you sort of handle that and just play your game and not feel phased by wanting to come through for them or, you know, being worthy of being on the floor for them? How do you deal with that a as a rookie? I mean, honestly, it kind of takes a lot of pressure off because all the focus is on them and there's only a couple things that I have to worry about doing um, to impact the game. So, honestly, they, they make it easier. And when they talk to me, um, you know, they might get on me, but they also give me confidence uh, to do the things that I do. So it's cool. Is there, whether it was advice, whether it was during a practice, anything, was there Was there a few moments that really stood out to you that helped you grow, that helped you take another step as you continue um, to learn your way around the league and being a professional? Yeah, um, honestly, probably just all the times that they take the time to pull me aside, um, all the different vets, and just tell me different things. They'll even literally tell me like just play with confidence that's what they tell me um, and that's all I really need so that helps me a lot what was your experience like watching this offseason as it unfolded Kessler what were you thinking when you saw Kevin's trade request um I mean it was already a crazy year for us so <laughs> I wasn't uh, too phased by it my mentality uh, seeing all that stuff was kind of just we'll see what happens so and it all worked out so all worked out we're all here uh, at media day, getting set for training camp tomorrow. And, and when you look at this lineup, at this roster, you think about uh, the depth that comes along with it. What's your approach and mentality as you head into a training camp, understanding um, just how many pieces there are and how many new players there are and the competitive nature that will come with it? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I think it's really the same as last year, though. I know everything that I get, um, I'll have to earn um, any contributions that I make. So uh, really just that, but I'm excited to see how it plays out. We got a lot of good guys on this team. Obviously, the talent's there, and um, I think guys are really locked in. So Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like, I mean, you talked about it a moment ago, too, Kessler. It seems like there's a, a sort of a connective tissue right now from what was experienced last season where there's almost – something to prove that this group feels like they did something to prove but there's a few different guys who have individual chips on their shoulder coming back from injury and then there's the the group collectively is that fair to characterize kind of the way things feel early with you guys as a team yeah i think it's a good balance of guys that were here last year and experienced that and you know we kind of want to get our revenge and then new guys that are buying into that too so yeah it, the one thing that stands out amongst a, a lot of things with this roster is the shooting and the shooting ability across the board of a lot of a lot of different players. Um, when you watch guys like Joe Harris, Patty Mills, Seth Curry coming through and, and you being a three point shooter yourself, what are some things that that you take away from how they play, how they move and what it is they've done throughout the course of their careers to be the type of effective and consistent shooters that they are? Yeah, I mean, I'm always watching them, um, even when they work out shooting. Um, I look up to them, and just the consistency, consistency that they have, um, those are all guys that are honestly some of the best shooters to ever play the game in history. So 
uh, it's cool that I get to, to be with them, see what they do every day, um, how their mindsets are, pick their brains a little bit. So, yeah. You talked about the defensive end, Kessler. What did the experience of last year teach you about what's needed from you to continue to grow as a defensive weapon in this league? Um, probably just, you know, that's the main thing that I feel like got me my playing time. So I know that throughout my career, that's something that I can't let go. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that has to be my identity and just the experience I got getting a guard. The other team's best players helps me. When you think about the defensive end, I know one person that there's a lot of attention and focus on has been Ben Simmons and, and what he can bring to the table defensively. And I know it's been a short time and he's been coming back with rehab. But w what have you noticed in his game, how he plays and what he does on that end of the floor that can help this team? Just versatile, man. I think um, everybody talks about, you know, him being a, um, like, you know, a big point guard, able to push the ball, handle the ball. But. Just, I know he does so many other things, which is what makes him uh, so valuable. Um, even him and Nick Claxton, um, I admire how they, they're so so long and they still move their feet and stuff. So, yeah, I like that. Well, Kessler, we're so excited to see you in year two. Uh, I, I know it's going to be an exciting season with all the different talent, all the 3 and D guys you now have on this team. And thank you for spending some time with us. Good luck with training camp tomorrow. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you, Kessler. Right. All right, that's Kessler Edwards joining us live from the Brooklyn Nets practice facility, HSS Training Center. It is Nets Media Day. Still more to come. We'll take you up until 